the, the question is, I, I think we all have pretty similar goals. You know, my goal would be to have humans be able to feed themselves in a way that's equitable and sustainable and make the earth a more beautiful, delicious place in doing it. And, um, and if we start from there and say, okay, what are the tools that we want to use to do this? You know, I don't think we'd go through and, and say, are, are GMOs necessary? I think we'd, we'd go through all of these things. We'd be looking at politics and food waste and and then we'd be looking at individual GMOs. You know, we'd be saying, you know, that disease-resistant banana is going to be really useful. I want that, you know. This herbicide-resistant soy, yeah, well, you know, I, I do think that there's, you know, there's uh, some, some nuances that, that uh, Andy glossed over that there has been some benefits of, of uh, introducing the herbicide-resistant soy. And there's, I think there absolutely are some uh, problems with the consolidation that uh, has, has resulted just from making money. Um, but uh, I think that that's one of the things that we would say, meh, I don't know if we, we need this so much for, uh, for our grand plan here. Who really benefits from GMOs? Is it farmers? Is it consumers? Is it just the company, the fertilizer companies? Who benefits, Nate Johnson? Well, the, there's economists that have done the research on this, and they've who's captured the benefits of this new technology, and the, the seed industries have gotten the lion's share of the benefits, the people who made the innovations, and farmers have gotten a big chunk of the benefits, and then there's a, consumers have seen a, a very small decrease in price, but uh, s small enough that most of us wouldn't notice it. What I was really surprised to see when I went through and looked at this is if you, if you look at all of the all of the big scientific organizations, Advancement of Science, National Academies of Science, the, the European Union, you know, nobody's proved that this is safe, but nobody has proved that walking down the street is safe either. And, um, you know, it, as close as any new technology can be proved safe, you, what you do is you go and you bring together the smartest heads in the room and you, you bring together many different fields, uh, toxicologists and ecologists and uh, plant biologists and you have them assess the science that's out there and w when you do that, yes there are some studies that you've probably heard about because they're the ones that get reported on that suggest there's some uh, health hazards, but you have to weigh that against the hundreds of independently funded studies that suggest just the opposite and when you do that it really, um, it really they really start to look pretty safe.